say you have a middle school kid come in. Yep. You think we don't spend enough time working on cardiac output and capacity and or capacity or the two different things or um no uh okay like cardiac output you're chasing a specific adaptation but right. at the end of the day you're chasing capacity right you're chasing work capacity right. um the hard thing is it's like in a private setting it's hard to sell you know it's hard to just set up stations and say okay here we go we're going to work on work capacity i think you have to sneak it into the workout because right. otherwise i mean ultimately you're not selling the kid i mean you are to an extent but you're selling the parents Right. So you have to demonstrate that a kid, little Johnny's faster and stronger and more explosive. So, you know, again, I think just getting them involved in the training process will shake a lot of that out. Now, if a kid's 50 pounds overweight, you know, I think they could benefit from some of that outside of the gym and, and maybe you can have that discussion with them. But I, I think it's really hard to just sell pure work capacity to a young athlete or more importantly, to a young athlete's parents. Not to say that it's not valuable, but as a standalone, it's hard to sell that. You have to kind of package it with the other stuff. Well, but if you have, you know, don't, don't we kind of include that? Isn't that kind of what we do? Yeah. You know, I mean, look. The, with the, uh, you know, you can do a kettlebell circuit or, you know, just some training where you're alternating exercises, just moving from one to the other. Absolutely. I mean, just, I think this, the structure of our programs in general lend itself to building work capacity, right? Yeah. It's not like at any point in time with a little kid, they're not like so explosive or so neuromuscularly advanced that they need like three minutes rest in between sprints, right? right? So, I mean, just the fact if you're working on generally 45 to 60 seconds rest, you're getting work capacity. I mean, to an extent, it's not maybe purely cardiac output, but you're definitely getting an aerobic adaptation just from keeping them moving for an hour. Yeah. 